You can see the effect of this tide better when you observe the water body with respect to landmass. Observe the rise and fall of water level through a period of day. There are some terms that are referred to on the chart and the tide tables that you should understand to calculate the height or depth for a given time. The height of mean high water springs, MHWS, is the average throughout the year of two successive high waters during those period of 24 hours. When the range of the tide is at its greatest. The height of the mean low water springs, MLWS, is the average height obtained by the two successive low waters during the same period. The height of mean high water neeps, MHWN, is the average throughout the year of two successive high waters during those period of 24 hours. When the range of the tide is at its least. The height of the mean low water neeps, MLWN, is the average height obtained by the two successive low waters during the same period. HW, or high water, is the general description of water level when it is at high level, which happens twice a day, at almost all places, on most charts. This is the level used for measuring elevations of the lighthouse, clearance of bridges, and so on. MSL, in other words, the mean sea level, is the average level of sea at a given site for a long period of 18.6 years. Highest astronomical tide, HAT, is the highest level, and the lowest astronomical tide, LAT, is the lowest level. That can be expected to occur under average meteorological conditions and under any combination of astronomical conditions. HAT and LAT are not extreme levels, as certain meteorological conditions can cause a higher or lower level, respectively. HAT and LAT are determined by inspecting predicted sea levels over a number of years. A level which is generally located at a distance equal to a safety limit, which is sometimes 10 centimeters below the LAT, is the chart datum, CD, level.